In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. See? The, the stone that was cut without hands. The invisible hands of God. The Holy Spirit. That stone is Christ. Showing you that Christ will descend from heaven to the earth. At the time that the Roman world power will be in force. Which power crucified Jesus Christ? The Roman world power. Does it make sense? So now when people talk about the second coming of Christ, they miscue the scriptures completely. Jesus Christ descended from heaven to the earth 2,000 years ago and he did not come from the skies. Are you following? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I know one thing in the Bible, it does say he ascended into heaven. He did. Can you elaborate a little bit on those who say that heaven is up? Can exactly. Ascending into heaven troubles the whole world from that time till today. Descending from heaven troubles the whole world from that time till today. How does someone ascend unto heaven? In the scriptures we have heard, John chapter 3 verse 13 says, No man had ascended up to heaven except he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Read John 3 verse 13. Only Christ only Christ can and does ascend up to heaven because Christ came down from heaven. No man can. Heaven is not in the skies. Heaven is spiritual. It is the dwelling place of God. God is a spirit. Are you paying attention? God is a spirit. His dwelling is spiritual. Consider 2,000 years ago when he would have finished his work. Acts chapter 2. You know, while yet he was with them, a cloud overshadowed them. These clouds is not the clouds of the sky. Please, I repeat, these clouds that overshadowed him is not the clouds from the skies. It is the clouds of heaven. This is so important that you should understand. Right now, as we sit here, Christ, if it pleases him, you can open your eyes, your eyes to see him right now. And if he allows you to see him, you will see this room will be filled with clouds. That clouds is not the clouds of the sky. It is the clouds that he covers himself. It's the clouds of heaven. Go ahead and read Acts of Apostles. Yes, I'm reading Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus. Christ. Amen. Now when he had spoken those things, while they watched, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, yes. who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? Mm -hmm. This same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Amen. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus. Yes. Amen. This particular verse confuses the whole world, the Father says. This same Jesus, taken from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him taken into heaven. They're How did he come before? They're thinking that it means he's going to come out of the clouds mm -hmm. because he departed into the clouds. No. But what it's saying is he left and went into the clouds as a human being. Mm -hmm. And when he returns, he shall return in like manner yes. as a human being. Amen. Yes. Exactly. So, pay attention to the scriptures. Listen again. The book of Daniel talks about the first coming of Christ and the second coming of Christ. Daniel was given to tell us that he saw a stone in heaven. That stone is our Lord Jesus Christ. The stone was cut. Without human hands. Invisible. The coming of Christ is completely invisible. To any man. So, it's a pity people say they are watching to see when Christ will return. It's not possible to see spirit. Because God is spirit. Is he spirit. descended from heaven to the earth and arrived in the days of the Roman world power. How many people in the world saw him arriving? Zero. Except God arrives at your doorstep, reveals himself to you, you will not you know that know God has arrived at your doorstep. Yes, that's how it has always been. This is the workings of God. 
Now fast forward to John chapter 3 verse 13. You hear him say that no man had ascended up to heaven except he that came down from heaven. If you came from heaven, when you finish your work on this earth, you are going back to heaven. Yes. If you came from Dallas, when you finish your work, you will go back to Dallas. It's not complicated, is it? So we were told about how the Christ will come in the first advent by Daniel. But when people read the book of Daniel, they get caught up with which kingdom, next kingdom. It's not about the kingdom. The kingdom is sequenced by God, leading us, count one, two, three, four, at number four, first coming of Christ. And then that part has finished. Then it showed a second badge of image that will represent four more kingdoms. Count one, two, three, four, at the fourth kingdom. Once you see the fourth kingdom take stage, know that God is upon the earth. You don't have to see him. You did not need to see him. Listen to what the three wise men said. They said, where is he that is born king of the Jews? We have seen his star. They knew that God is upon the earth because they were able to make the mathematics. Once you see these things take place, know that God is already here. Even though you don't see him. They knew that Christ is upon the earth. They started their journey to look for Christ. Are you listening? They were called wise because they were not looking at the sky to see Christ descend from heaven. They knew that the possessor of the heavens and the earth is born and will be found upon the earth wherever it has placed him. In the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the subject today we want to treat. So when we now look at the book of Daniel, I want you to start now to read the book of Daniel. Continue from that Daniel too. Listen attentively to the dream and listen to the interpretation. Let us finish the book of Daniel please. His, eye, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet mm -hmm. that were of iron and clay, and brake them to pieces. Mm -hmm. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth this is the dream and and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king before the king. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the heaven, hath he given un into thee, into thine hand, and hath made thee ruler over them all. Thou art this head of gold, after, and after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over thee all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and brew us. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of the potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, 
so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, the, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Mm -hmm. And in the days of these kings mm -hmm. shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom yes. which shall never be destroyed. You hear that? And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, mm -hmm. but it shall break in pieces yes. and consume all these kingdoms. Yes. And it shall stand forever. Amen. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, mm -hmm. and that it break in pieces of the iron, mm -hmm. the brass, the clay, mm -hmm. the silver, mm -hmm. and the gold, the God, the great God hath made known to thee, King, what shall come to pass hereafter. Amen. And the dream is certain. Yes. And the interpretation thereof sure. sure. Amen. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. From that day till today, the only thing that has happened in this whole world is exactly what God said to Daniel. Nothing has happened outside. No other government. We're talking about world political setups. No other government has been able to rise. Where did you get the power from? It is God that gives the power you see in the government. That's why the Bible says obey the authorities. For nothing can be constituted except what God has ordained. Yes. All the world powers from that day of Daniel till today is exactly as God ordains. And I would assume that it would be more, they would be more uh, prone to be demonic. Would you agree? Or they're in, in favor of Satan? Well, true. The Game government of Nebuchadnezzar really was not for God, so to speak. Because the rulers were evil. Evil people, when they rule, can only do evil. 